Hello my data science friends, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Divyan Chagruwal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we will be talking about yet another data science program that is offered by Ludwig Maximilians University or better known as LMU situated in Germany. So in this video we will be talking about how to apply eligibility criteria, fees, scholarship, curriculum, everything about this course. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course. And if you do like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of content related to data science already uh, lurking there for you guys. You can go check them out and also share this video with your friends who are looking out for data science courses to study in Germany. So without any further delay, let's start. So first of all, let's just know about this university. So this is the university uh, goes by the name of Ludwig Maximilians University, which is situated in Munich, Germany. And they've got a world rank of 64. Status is public and you will get to see why it is public and the effect of it. The search output is very high. Student to faculty ratio is very awesome. 9 is to 1. Almost 6,000 international students already studying here. And they have, they have a beautiful extra large campus. If you talk about the subject rankings, this particular course is offered by two different departments. That is the Department of Statistics and the informatics here i have with me is the computer science and information systems ranking which is a world rank of 79 and i also saw about the statistics department they got a world rank between the rank band of 51 to 100 and also graduate employability ranking is between 121 and 130 so this is one of the top most universities in germany we are talking about and it will be a very good chance for you to study data science in top most university in germany now back to the course this course is the MSc in data science and this course is in English of course and this is the landing page where you can see about a brief a very crude brief overview of what data science at LMU is here is a video you can always watch and uh, it is an interdisciplinary program as I told offered by the Department of Statistics and the Institute for Informatics at LMU Munich. Now if you talk about the program details so this is a master of science msc degree you will get msc in data science and the duration is four semesters and the language as i already told is english so there is no requirement for german here as well the requirements here is you need to have a bachelor of science in statistics or informatics or related disciplines so it doesn't bother to them that if you have a three or four year degree all you need to have is a bachelor of science degree Start of the program is winter semester. So here in LMU, they only have two semesters throughout the year. That is the winter semester or the summer semester. There is no concept of fall semester as in the Western countries. And this course always starts in the winter semester. Right now, the applications are naturally closed because we are close, closing November already. And uh, this program has to be started in January. So what happens is they open the deadline in and around April and close the deadline at 1 June. So this is generally the date for the winter semester application. It can also be a little different, but this is an indicative of what you can see in the next year as well. So be prepared. You need to start preparing a document in order to apply right away once the application opens in April. As for the requirement, you need to have a Bachelor of Science degree in Statistics or Informatics with 180 ECTS, European Credit Transfer System. So you need to have at least 180 credits of study uh, with Statistics or Informatics. And you need to have excellent knowledge in informatics and statistics both. They require you to do that and I will tell you why. Statistical science and database modeling. So you need to have all these subjects studied as a part of your curriculum in data mining, probability theory, machine learning. And computer science and computational methods include data structures and algorithm, database systems, programming principles and practice software engineering. These kind of subjects you need to have studied in your bachelor's. And overall grade must be better than 1.5. There is a different grading system in Germany that goes on. Uh, I will also share a link with you guys where you can convert your Indian grades to equivalent German grades. Also, you need proficiency in English with at least B2 CE FR. Uh, how you can prove that is you need to have an English university entrance qualification or you have your degree in English. That is your mark sheets explicitly states that your primary language of instruction was English. So here what is is required for the english language otherwise you have to give the test you have to give the english language test and equivalent to b2 cefr now if you talk about the curriculum so the curriculum consists of modelized study program as i already told you so here is a brief of what you will be studying in across four semesters in the first and second semesters you will be studying subjects related to statistics and informatics and there is one subject of fundamentals of data science which you will be studying in the first semester and another first semester subject would be human computation and analytics. 
and in the second semester as i told statistics and informatics are already a part other than that you will be studying predictive modeling and human competition and analytics will be continued apart from all these four courses in the second semester you will be studying data ethics and data security elective there are some elective courses and current research in data science in the third semester you will be studying data science practical and another three subjects would be data ethics and data security another elective course and current research in data science and finally in fourth semester there is only a master's thesis of 30 credits you need to complete a th thesis and submit it to your supervisor that's it and this is how they have structured the four semester study program and it is considered to be the one of the earliest data science courses that was offered globally now application so how to apply now you have made up your mind to apply now how to apply is the main thing so application process has two stages first of all you need to complete an online application and then you will be having an interview an oral examination so they will accept all the applications and then you will be calling you for the interview and you have to appear for the interview now what will be in the interview i will tell you this interview could be a video chat or in private as well but uh, since uh, we are talking about the international students uh, they must not be asking us to come to munich and give the test they will be just doing it on the video chat now on to the online application there are certain documents that you require there are the do documents that you require transcript of records bachelor certificate and there is an essay that boils down to sop what we say in while applying into usa or canada and the proof of proficiency in english so these are the main documents that you need to have handy while you are applying and also there is one more thing for you to note so the documents which are not in german or english must be provided as a certified translation so suppose if you are talking about india there are certain universities which try to offer their degrees in hindi or maybe another languages like tamil telugu whatever so if your degree is in such language you need to provide a translation maybe in german or english there is a special note for international students who do not hold the German citizenship need to apply to the international office as well. LMU international office is also there which assists the international students getting into LMU. I will be telling it in a while for you guys. There is a separate thing that you need to do as a part of your application to LMU data science course and I will be telling it further in a while. Just hold on for a moment. Now, as I talked about the interview, right? So what will be in the interview? So you will be asked between statistics and informatics. So these are the two main focus areas of the interview, rather the whole course. So you will be analyzed. You will be judged on the two subjects that is statistics and informatics. And the interview will be consisting of two professors from the department, one from the statistics and one from the informatics department. And they will be testing you on the basis of statistics and informatics. And what are the questions that you can expect is explain quantities like expectation, median, variance, quantile, etc. Explain the meaning of confidence interval. What is the purpose of regression model? How regression model is used in forecasting? Two by two table. What is the odds ratio defined? So these are the kind of questions that you can expect. And literature is from these two uh, papers. You can have a look. Three papers rather. You can have a look. And then the informatics part comes in. Name elementary data types and how they are represented within computer memory. Name at least two commonly used sorting algorithms. What are relation, tuple, primary key, and relation data model, difference between compiled and interpreted programming languages. So these kind of questions they, they can ask. And these are the papers you can refer to. Four papers I have given. So you can refer to these papers. So remember I told you about a different application procedure that you have to follow as an international student. So this is the form that you have to fill in. This is an exhaustive form of four pages. You have to fill this form and submit it to the LMU international office. So this form is pretty intuitive itself. You can uh, fill it the form yourself. There is no need to explain any of the fields here. You can go and fill it out. You all you have to do is to download this and fill the form. What you have to do after filling it is with this along with the other documents that you have submitted to uh, the online application form. Remember the transcript of records and all these things. You have to submit this and all these documents to this given address. You need to mail. You need to physically send these uh, documents as courier to this particular address you have this address just pause the video and maybe make a note of it and as for the checklist here is the checklist that they have made what you have to send into the LMU office so you have to complete the application form this one that I told you right you have to complete you have to give the CV degree certificates 
transcript of records if available and apart from that there is certain thing called the recognition notification this is a requirement for people who are holding a bachelor's degree international bachelor's degree who haven't received their final certificate so suppose you are from third year or fourth year applying to this university you need to get this recognition notification and if you are from usa or afghanistan or people's republic of china and vietnam watching this video you need to have this done Apart from that, you need to have the registration certificate and confirmation and for master's degree, written approval of the master's degree is required, proof of all academic achievements, what you have, whatever you have achieved and uh, if uh, there is a name change, you have to give that proof as well and the German language proficiency if there is any. But in this course, we don't require this, so you can um, obviously skip this part. Now, if we talk about the fees, this includes only the semester fees. So this is one good thing about Germany, German education, that you don't need to pay the fees even if you belong to any of the country. All you have to do is to pay the semester fees, which is minimal. So here is a page where you can find the semester fees. So for summer semester, that fees was 147 euros. And uh, if we see the past trends, the fees for winter semester this year was 144.4 euros don't be confused by this comma this comma is used as a decimal in europe so just don't confuse with it so if we talk about the total semester fees that you have to pay across four semesters that would be around 582.8 euros and if we convert it into indian rupees that is close to just 50,000 rupees so all you have to pay is 50,000 and you are getting a msc data science degree from one of the top most universities in the world and you will be getting a job which is very very high paying this is a fees even lesser than your bachelor of four years so just think about this i mean this course could be something that you must be looking out for and to assure you there is no tuition fees for this particular course i have opened this page you can have a read as of the winter semester no tuition fees are charged according to the article 71 of the Bavarian Higher Education Act dated May 23, 2006, there is no tuition fees charged. So this is one good thing about most of the German universities. And still, if you feel like there is a lot of burden, LMU takes care for you. Scholarships are already there for international students. Here is a page. You can have a look. So one such scholarship is assistance in case of financial difficulty. So if you're facing financial difficulty, you can send a proof of that you can apply online once you get in this is something that you get in once you get in so once you get in you have to fill the application form and in application form they will be asking about your needs and all these things so you need to fill that and another one is the sist lmu study scholarship this is also for the economically weaker section if you are willing to apply for the scholarship you are most welcome and you need to provide the proof of academic excellence that that basically boils down to your grades of course because the german education system is very very rigid towards you know the the grades they have this affinity to the grading system so you need to have good grades in order to prove your academic excellence it doesn't matter to them if you have publications or not but you need to have an academically sound history background in order to be succeeded in german education system another scholarship is sist lmu study completion scholarship so once you complete this is a scholarship that is provided by daad and uh, there are some other scholarship bestowed scholarship funding for female students there is a separate page for this you can go check it out and uh, grant for learning aid and printing cost there are some more scholarship in fact there is a database that scholarship database you can have a search for it this was basically all about this course so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends who are looking out for data science courses this is one such pocket friendly course you guys can look out for and i am definitely saying that this course is going to be worth it you will be working with top-notch german high technology german brands and organizations like bmw volkswagen so go out for this course look out for this course i will come up with another data science course in the next video until then, au revoir.